Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes are gonna do what if they win a Grammy? We'll tell you what they plan to do and why Camila had a hard time giving Shawn a nickname. I'm Kelsey Vanis and you're watching The Daily Report. Shawn Mendes back into our lives, baby. Where, oh where, have our faves Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes been? Well, back in December, we had Camila launch her new album, Romance, and Shawn finished up his world tour. Now, the two have been pretty silent on social media about one another, so it seems the two are laying low. And, you know, we just want to make sure everything is okay with our, you know, hashtag Shawnmilla. It's been a solid four weeks since we've seen them make out in a restaurant. Remember when the two were caught getting cuddly in Toronto? And then they were spotted holding hands while taking a stroll through Toronto on New Year's Eve? And surprisingly, we were not given any makeout photos of that event. Like, seriously? What the heck, Shamila? Come on. It seems we won't have to wait too long to see our fave couple again because the Grammys are this Sunday and you best believe the two were nominated for their bop, Senorita. And not only are Sean and Camila excited to go, but Camila said that if the two win, they will strip down for the award. Mm -hmm, you heard me right. While some may think this is taking PDA to a whole new level, Camila told Radio.com, quote, if Sean and I win the Grammy, we will walk on stage in our underwear like 21 Pilots did. That's a promise. And for those who don't remember when 21 Pilots won their Grammy back in 2017, they accepted their award in their underwear. So how daring of Camila to promise that? Only she backpedaled on that real quick and immediately said, quote, just kidding, it's not a promise. I gotta work out before I do that. So while she won't be stripping in public with Sean, she did tell Radio.com how it feels to be nominated with her boyfriend. She confessed, quote, It feels really special to get to share that kind of experience with someone that is first and foremost my friend that I've known for such a long time. She goes on to say that Sean was the first person she's ever written a song with, so to go from two young kids writing a song in a dressing room to this, the glow up is real. And knowing the two had been best friends for so long, Camila even agreed it was hard to transition from being best friends to best friends in love. Those were her words, actually. When she was on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, she revealed it was hard for her to give Sean a nickname. She said, quote, we were awkward, nervous, and weird, and now we're older and nervous and weird. You know, it's so funny, because when we first started going out, it's so weird. It's kind Kind of weird in the beginning, right? Like it took me, it took me like two months to be able to call him baby. Like I could not. I didn't want to say his name because we were dating and I couldn't call him baby. So I would just be like, hey, you. Well, honestly, whether it was hard for her to come up with baby or not, we just really want to see some more Shamil in her life. So hopefully we'll see them walking the red carpet together on Sunday. But we want to know what you think. Are you rooting for hashtag Shamila at the Grammys? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Awesomeness TV and the Awesomeness TV Daily Report channel. Oh, and make sure to follow us at Awesomeness TV on Instagram for more. I'm Kelsey Banis and Shamila baby, Sunday's looking good.